Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Last week on Monday, we had our favorite footies SBC, the 85x10 released into FIFA 23, but we were disappointed with the price of the SBC and only being able to do it two times per day. Now, today's a massive day for this one because it is actually expiring today, and the question is, is it going to come back? And if it does, will we be able to do it more times per day or will it be cheaper? We're going to uncover that, talk about upgrade packs in general and what else to expect with also a leak that has been posted about a footies player upcoming in FIBA 23 today. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content really quickly because we had a player leak yesterday. We thought that player was going to be our SBC dropped at Sunday content. And instead, it was somebody completely different from what we expected. Rayan Cherokee, five star, five star. He had a future stars card earlier on this year. Left footed, nice card. I mean, you like the alternate positions there. He can play a lot of different attacking spots to get into whatever formation you're trying to use really great passing stats really solid dribbling stats um he has the stocky body type which a lot of people like it's um if you use payette earlier on in the year that's kind of a comparison with the stocky body type but also if you look at the stats not that amazing right um 91 composure 87 reactions 90 finishing 80 strength and aggression, that's a little bit low for this stage of the game, but along with that does not come a very high price tag, only 180,000 coins to get this Cherokee done. It's only two squats. If you run a League One team, this could be a player that you put in there uh, or craft with extra fodder maybe this week if you want to. I just don't think it's that amazing of an SBC, but it's decent. And people really liked his future stars earlier on this year. So give it some thought. If it works for you, go ahead and do it. But that one for me is just kind of a mid SBC, if we're being completely honest. Now, SBCs that were not mid that were dropped yesterday are these two right here. Don't sleep. On these SBCs, guys, the daily bronze and silver upgrade. These SBCs right here can actually get you golds to get into player picks, to get fodder, to basically help you craft all the other SBCs that are around this game right now, whether it's the upgrade packs like 85 times 10s. 84 times 30, 90 plus icon player pick, or maybe you're trying to go after Ronaldinho. These two SBCs can help you do that. Yes, you're like, Nate, why would a daily bronze and silver like help me with this? It will, trust me guys. Right now, what you get out of this is 24 bronze players, seven rare, or 24 silver players, seven rare, all you have to turn in are three players, right? You turn in three bronze and you get 24 back. You turn in three silver and you also get 24 back. It's incredible value. You can only do it three times a day, but where it gets good is all those players that you get, you're actually going to end up putting those into the ultimate bronze and silver upgrade, which the ultimate bronze upgrade gives you more uh, silvers and the ultimate silver gives you gold commons and those gold commons you can then rinse into player picks now player picks are expiring today the 80 plus and the 81 plus hopefully i mean it's almost a guarantee right we're going to get some sort of upgrade pack or player pick sbc today as a part of content and that's where the grind is going to be really really good so if you're like nate i don't have a lot of fodder i can't craft ronaldinho any of these other upgrade packs or player sbcs like kunde that you maybe want to do right now get involved with whatever you have in your club start crafting through these upgrade packs, the daily bronze and silver upgrades, you can do three per day, rinse those into the ultimate, and boom, you're at gold cards right there. And then you can go into player picks, get some fodder, and you know, take yourself to whatever SBCs you would like to do. So that's kind of the craft, that's kind of the grind there. I wanted to mention that to you guys because if you're like Nate, I got nothing, that's a way that you can kind of like resurrect your club in terms of fodder on those at this stage of the game. Big W for EA for releasing that. And of course, it does, of course, satisfy one of the weekly XP. Uh, uh, 600 XP and two more completions on that for um, getting this week of XP done. Now, also, we're talking about today's content already with the upgrade packs and stuff. We're going to get a Trophy Titans Torres today, and that is another SBC we have to do. Basically, today, you'll be able to complete this whole section of XP and probably get up another level with the bonus reward because we should be getting a Trophy Titans Fernando Torres player SBC today, which would have a loan challenge inside of it, and that is going to give us some XP to finish off this week. So, one other SBC to talk about from yesterday, the 80 four times yeah it's 30 players in one single upgrade pack we can do it once and then we have to wait a few more days to get it done again but guys we have an 85 times 10 and this one for the price no 300,000 coins for 84 times 30 upgrade pack 
that's risky. That's really risky for me. I like the 8510 much better than this one. Um, just because you're turning in 44 players, right? This uh, SBC requires four different squad segments. You're turning in 44 players, four squads, to get 30 back. I don't like that much of uh, an investment to get 30 players back, especially when probably 15 of them are going to be 84 rated. I know you got a lot of specials and packs. I know you got the footies cards, but that's too big of a gamble for me and too many coins and too much fodder to put aside into that to try to get something good and try to get other upgrades uh, for even your fodder cards, right? Upgrading fodder to get better fodder, right? I like the 85 times 10 much better because it's cheaper and you have an 85 minimum rating instead of an 84. So that one right there, definitely expensive. You can see Footbin has an 8% upload on that one which may be a little bit harsh if you're trying to just pack all the footies cards you can right now whether it's Neymar, Jesus, Alawiran yeah that's maybe a pack that you want to try but it definitely is a little bit expensive now with the SBCs that we had yesterday guess what we have some fodder prices going up once again our daily SBC spike um, at content drop happened again yesterday but as we head into today on monday prices are looking a little bit low again and i would have to say once again like we say every single day i feel like on the videos guys make sure you're going out and doing a club stock if you don't have much in your club make sure you get some because take a look at parejo yesterday parejo 8.4k all the way up to 9.2k these guys, if we get a good 85 times 10 today, if it refreshes, if we get um, something else alongside with that today, tomorrow, Wednesday, into this week, guys, again, it's that middle tier fodder that could do really, really good if we get really good content. And it's what we're going to need to be completing SBC. So 83s on up look decent to me. I've got a bunch of 86s on my transfer list. Um, still waiting for those to rise a bit. Those are going to help me out probably with the Ronaldinho SBC as well but again watch fodder now one thing we have to talk about with fodder is and we mentioned it yesterday on stream but if you take a look at the ronaldinho sbc price it is up a little bit from where it was but yesterday with squad battle rewards the ronaldinho sbc went from 5.9 mil squad battle rewards got released and they went all the way down to 5 million coins to complete this SBC because so much tradable supply for fodder was hitting the market as there's a lot of objectives right now and people are playing squad battles to get that done. And especially with a lot of players in packs, 150 special cards in packs for best of batch two, a lot of players that you saw dropping the most were 92, 93, 94 rated cards. Even some of like your 88s drop down really low. They're like discard or minimum price right now, if you will, 11K for a lot of those 88 rated cards. And if you take a look at Ronaldinho's SBC, the reason that it has gotten so cheap is because these higher rated squads, the 92 rated, you know, these were like 300 plus thousand coins uh, when the SBC was, you know, five, six million coins on the weekend. And now they're 285,000 coins a piece to complete. So if you've thought about doing Ronaldinho, Dino, uh, prices are down, right? It's cheaper to buy that higher rated fodder. It's cheaper to buy the middle tier as well. Basically everything from 87 rated to 95 rated is down a little bit from where it was over the weekend. Watch this space, watch these prices throughout the week because more and more people are starting Dino, I believe, especially if we get a good SBC today for an 85 times 10. That's what a lot of the hype is kind of based around today. Um, is that refreshing? You know, you could see some really big price rises on fodder. Um, I like the middle tier the most though, because again, that's the stuff that people have to buy. Um, a lot of people have the mid, the high tier, right? 88, 89s and above because that's all that we're packing day in and day out from player picks and from um, packs and stuff like that. So I would say maybe hop on the market do a bit of a club stock. I need to get some 84s and some 83s in my club because that's the part of my club right now that is down bad. I actually do have a couple of player picks, which we're going to talk about in a second, but the big SBC at hand, we mentioned a couple times already, but that's just because there's so much hype on this game and the menus on this game specifically today are dependent around one SBC and it is this 85 times 10. Now, the way they did this in previous years of footies guys is once the 85 times 10 is released, it usually doesn't go away for like the rest of of footies in the rest of the game, right? Even as we have maybe a preseason promo right before EAFC 24 comes out, um, this 85 times 10 should be a staple of content um, and it should be refreshed today, right? I'm saying that with like 90% sureness that 
I expect this SBC to come back today. I don't exactly know how it will. That's where the questions come in, right? Will they make it cheaper, right? This last week, it was an 84 and an 86 rated squad with a team of the week or a team of the season. So it was a little bit expensive, still doable, but a little bit expensive and we could do it two times a day. So the question is, are they gonna keep it the same price and allow us to do it more times in the day? Are they gonna keep it at two different uh, repeatables per day and make it cheaper? A one squad 85 times 10, if you only have to turn in one, even if it's like an 87 or an 88 rated squad, if that is all we have to do, that is a W because anytime you can turn in 11 players in one squad to get 10 back, even if you're turning in an 88 rated squad for an 85 times 10, that's fantastic because that means it's so much easier to grind and to craft. And that would be like one of the most end game parts of footies if we get a one squad requirement 85 10 so i hope it's a little bit cheaper i also hope that we can do it a few more times because if we can do it a few more times i'm talking like maybe five times i mean i might be a little bit too early but 10 times a day was something they did last year before making it unlimited repeatable um you know that's a possibility for today i don't think unlimited repeatable is a possibility but i think anywhere from two to five to ten times max per day is what they're maybe going to allow us to do with five probably being a safer bet uh, unless they just make it cheaper and still allow us to do it two times so that would be massive but alongside of that how are we going to get 85 times 10 done if we don't have any fodder well daily bronze and silver upgrades if you're really down bad but like myself 80 plus player picks and 81 plus player picks are going to be the place where we will hopefully get some fodder this week. And with the 80 pluses going away and me having some golds in the club, I said, let's send a final few for the video. And I really hope they just refresh this 80, 80, the 80 plus player pick I hope is refreshed, but I hope it's refreshed with the requirements of the 80 plus from this last week, but it's actually an 81 or an 82 plus because men remember last week on Monday, we were also so mad because the 81 plus player pick came out and it required an 80 rated squad. That was abysmal. And also, you know what? Give me the 81 plus player pick because these player picks are not hitting right now. Not a special card in all of these. I did seven player picks and we got nothing. Wow, the luck is not in on these at the moment. Last one, can it save this bash, this set? Wow, that was horrific, actually. An 84 rated, three of them for my highest rated. Not terrible, I guess, but I was hoping for a little bit more with all the special cards and packs. I hope we get an 81 or an 82 plus player pick today, guys, that does not have a rating um, requirement inside of it. Remember the one they dropped a couple of weeks ago? It was like seven golds and it was an 82 plus player pick. Do that again, EA. That would be very, very nice. But don't you dare. Don't you dare require an 80 rated squad in any of the player picks that you dropped today. Doing that last week was absolutely abysmal. You better not do it again. All right. We're all trying to craft Ronaldinho this week. Let us do it. Let us have the fun with an 8510 that is repeatable and also an 81 plus player pick that is cheap. So, I mean, if those things come out today on this game, that's going to make the menu grind really, really good. And it's going to give me motivation, especially because I have started Ronaldinho, guys. We have commenced the grind. We are four squads out of 33. I've done the first three, and then I did the first 92 rated squad. So we are locked in. We're going to be crafting Ronaldinho this week. We're going to be getting arguably the most overpowered and biggest flex card on this game. We're going to go for it because why not have something to grind for a little bit at the end game. I'm excited to get it done. I'm excited to grind it. It gives you, me something to shoot for this week. And I'm hoping that EA allow us to do that semi well. Also for SBCs, like we mentioned that Fernando Torres is going to be dropping today um, as a loan. I would also expect, as we normally see, that he's going to be getting a regular version of his icon on the market as well. It should be the 94 version for Torres. I, I mean, if they released the little bro as the actual SBC, I think this game would riot. But it's probably going to be the big bro, 94. But that is a part of XP once again. So make sure you get yourself that loan version done. Get yourself XP. So I'm expecting those three SBCs today, an 80 plus or 81 plus player pick, 8510 and the trophy titans sbc other than that i mean surprise us that 83 times 100 still looming not in the store as far as i've seen so um maybe i should check that really quick because they did add a store pack yesterday i don't know if they added any more of them i didn't see anybody talking about it so i doubt that they did um i think they added another 500k pack yesterday once again um just like sad honestly like dude no the, this footies premium replay pack which is just best of batch two players why would i open a 500 000 coins pack right now that does not include the chance of packing footies cards no 
Super Ultimate Pack is the only pack in the store worth opening unless you're just going to full send it. In my opinion, that pack is 100% uh, worth it if you want to go in on a store pack there. Now, let's talk about market a bit because you're like, uh, Nate, where's your freaking coins, man? You had like three or four mil yesterday, and that would be true. I did. Uh, and right now, what I'm doing is I'm trading a little bit. Yeah, trading in August because last week on Monday, this time, early morning Monday hours were really, really good for the market and a lot of the footies cards people woke up on monday they got their foot champs rewards and prices on the footies cards especially the rare ones the most hyped ones moved they moved a lot right so i picked up a couple sanchos at his actual minimum price is 300,000 coins that scares me a little bit that he has such a high minimum uh, on this sancho card but i picked up a couple at 300k hoping that he could go up a bit he was down a lot from yesterday also picked up a couple carval hall and i do have a jesus as well that i bought a little bit earlier in the day um, for, you know, I might've paid over, I think I paid 1.13. So he's a pretty rare card. I also packed him yesterday. I was very lucky for my first 85 times 10 to hit Gabriel Jesus, uh, which was mental in its own right. Um, so I'm going to be trying him out today in the cup. Um, but I also bought one of him to try to trade and to make a quick flip out of it because that is the fluctuation that we saw last week. We also saw in week one of footies with those cards is they were very low Sunday night into Monday, and they ended up rising a bit into the la middle to latter part of the week um, as it was just kind of like upgrade pack content on Monday and a little bit slower. Now, speaking of the cup, I got to grind the cup this week because it is so worth it to try to go after those 15 wins, to get all the packs, to get the players. And uh, I think this is the team that we're going to do it with, trying out Parasage. I've got my footies players in there. I'm basically just using my main team in the cup. Um, I used that team in Weekend League uh, with a tall at right back instead of Perisic. Kind of choked it, got 10 wins, but we were in a hurry just getting the games done as fast as possible. A little bit of a speed run, if you will. Um, and that's why I think that kind of ended up there. Um, oh, also, have to end the video with a little bit of conversation about this leak right here. Um, I don't know if we're going to see this player in Ultimate Team anytime super soon. This, to me, guys, feels like a player that's going to be in Team 4. It's almost, I almost said 3, but Team 4 of footies. This feels like an impacts card to me, right? We haven't had an Ansu Fati in a while, and the Ansu Fati that we had earlier this year was actually an SBC. I don't know if you guys remember this out-of-positions Fati card. It was, like, very 50-50, right? A lot of people loved it. Great card. Very overpowered. He was kind of re released during the lengthy meta, and he was explosive, so it was the opposite of that. And some people liked that card earlier on in the year, but he was also pretty expensive for a early November SBC. So... He is leaked to get a footies card. This could be an SBC, guys. It could be. Um, but the fact that Sheriff leaked it as non-SBC, he didn't say that or objective. He just said Ansu Fadi is coming as a footy soon. This feels to me like it could be a card that is in packs. 96 rated is just a prediction. It's not a guarantee for the rating. Um, but that just seems like maybe the second or third tier card to be in packs, in my opinion. They could make him a 97 and kind of make him like Jesus, right? Kind of like one of the top three players that would be in packs this friday probably alongside like a 99 mbappe or erling holland you could i would very easily see a 99 rated holland or mbappe or something 99 rated this friday in packs with the footies team four which we are expecting because team three is going away so of course i'm assuming this this footies promo is not ending right because the batch two is still in packs for the week so we're expecting more cards and packs on friday there so that's kind of a rundown of what's going on in this game right now i mean I mean, other thing to look out for this week would be, guys, the beta. I mean, we talked about it a little bit, but that's just kind of like some EAFC 24 news that you may want to keep an eye out for, and you may want to just be ready to check your email for. Make sure, once again, you've got all your uh, email notification stuff and things turned on in your settings. I think it's actually like account marketing settings or something like that, um, because I think it might be here pretty soon where EA starts to dish out some of those codes and we start to hear people talking about the EAFC 24 closed beta, which is invite only. So we've made a couple of clips about that in the clips channel. Make sure you check those out. And uh, yeah, guys, it's almost time, right? I mean, we're getting into the middle part of August. We're probably going to have some more news on um, if I could actually pull this up really EAFC direct. Um, we're going to have some news on deep dives coming pretty soon as well. We just had the match day experience ultimate team. Maybe this week, guys, maybe this week. I don't know if they'll like push that back into next week or something along those lines, but we've got three reveals coming in August. We just had the match day experience last week. 
So maybe this week for Ultimate Team and clubs coming soon as well. So be on the lookout for some of that, of course, with all the news when it comes out. We'll be covering it. We'll be talking about it and going over it here. But the most important thing is today, EA Sports. Drop that 85 times 10 repeatable. Either make it cheaper or let us do it more times per day. We need to grind the menus. Let us grind. Let us craft. Let us have some fun. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in the stream today. Link down in the description if you want to check that out. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys there. Peace out.